Your Toyota BC Dealers presents BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. With your host, Mike Mitchell. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, Port Boathouse, Pacific Salmon Foundation, Loran, North River Boats. I don't oh. think I've ever heard you ever say, ah, oh, that's a crap fish. <laughs> Everything is nice. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice <laughs> fish. <laughs> they just don't give up. Oh, that. Right. All right. Hey, Al. How are you doing? Good. Good. Good to see you. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Al. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Thanks. Super excited. Let's uh, let's talk about where we are first, Al. Give us a breakdown exactly where we are, what we're going to do. Absolutely. We're at uh, Deca Lake in the Caribou Regional District. Uh, Deca Lake is uh, kind of divided into two parts. There's mm -hmm. Little Deca and there's Big Deca. Yeah. We're going to be fishing Little Deca today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we fished, Brian, if I'm not mistaken... About 150 feet off this guy's dock for ice fishing a few years ago, if yeah, I remember. Blizzard. I, I'm starting to recognize the surroundings. We may have tried to sneak in to use your washer at one point. I'm not going to say that. Out. But at, uh, yeah, this is really cool. So five-hour drive, about that, give or take. I just stop and pick you up in Kamloops. But normally you can take two ways really in here, right? You can come up through Kamloops or Little Fort and then or up uh, up Highway 1 there, right? Up and that's the about, Canyon, yeah, you bet. So about five hours drive. Yeah. Easy drive. Lots of wildlife side the road, some bears, some deer, which you like to see animals, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some, explain, you know, explain that to me. You always say that. What, oh, what's you want to see some deer wildlife when you go fishing, then it's a good luck charm. All right. Absolutely. Right, Al? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's good. Yeah. So speaking of fishing, what are we doing, Brian? Well, we're going to target kokanee on the fly today. Cool. I mean, deca has got a great kokanee population. It's well managed by the province, yeah. stocked annually. It's got rainbows and it's got lake trout. It's got lake trout too, yes. And there's bourbon in the lake. So okay. we could catch more than one species today. That would be phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It'll be good. And from what I've heard, the kokanee put up a decent fight. They put up a decent fight, absolutely. <laughs> and the fishing this year has been uh, been pretty good. Yeah. You know, um, it's been good up the last few days, so hopefully we yeah. can uh, dial in the right fly with Brian's fly box and uh, yep. we can uh, get into some action. That might be the key right there, Brian's fly box. It usually is. <laughs> the keys to the game, right? Absolutely. You bet. <laughs> All right. Yep. Well, let's get off the dock, stop talking, let's go catch some fish. All right. Great. Heard. Perfect. Good. That was excellent. Check guys. this out, Al. See if it's I just did. Yeah. I might need another fly though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, see, Alpha. I've been on this side before. Oh, these fish, fish are crazy. This is where the long handle net would come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna. Maybe with the. We need to adapt, maybe. <laughs> Is this a 12 pound rainbow you're fighting here? Or I don't know, it's just one a pound 12 inch kokanee. kokanee that's gone ballistic. I might have to hand line this guy up close. I've been known to do that before. Oh, hang on, yeah, yeah. he ain't ready yet. You guys just work around me here, I'll try to get my <laughs> setup here. Al, you're down. It, it just went down again. Well, I'm just watching it go down. Yeah, it's down again. He's knocking three times. There he is. Oh, ah! good job. Oh, that was some work. <laughs> that was that arm. stressful. Look at these fish, just gorgeous. Easy. And the hook, I don't know, it's about this net, you know, that rubber net, they they'll, just, they'll come out. They all fall rubber. out. I like that, once they're in. Once they're in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. But look at the, the girth on these fish. Yeah, they're eating well, there's lots of Look at that. Food. So these are stocked fish, Brian, obviously? Yeah, so this is stocked annually. Okay. The Freshwater Society stocks it annually. It's managed, It's a great fishery that's managed well by the province. Yep. Guys in Williams Lake do a great job on that. So, and there's nothing better eating, is there, Al? It's great table fare, man. They're awesome. What are so how are we there? cooking them tonight? Yeah, we'll probably fillet them up. <laughs> you know, barbecue like, like last barbecue time. Barbecue like last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be a bit of a. Hit. There you go. 
Got him again. I don't know what it is yet, but oh. Oh. How's that feel? Here, just bring it over here. It's right at the end there. I don't know if it's a kokanee. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a cold I don't know what it is. Sorry, buddy. It's okay. He's used to it, remember? Fishes with me. We're in the control in this boat. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a nice kokanee. I don't oh. think I've ever heard you ever yeah. say, ah, oh, that's a crap yeah. fish. <laughs> Everything is nice. If you're catching fish, it's as nice. As long as it's not muddy, it's nice. That's right, yeah. You think that's the one you just missed, Brian? It is a good one, though, eh? Wow. That's oh, a, wow. Geez, that's a beautiful that's fish. Beauty. That might be fish of the day. Could, could be. be. It's just could be. Oh, it's a yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. No, he's got a minnow. So here's a another nice decolate nice. kokanee. Whoop whoop. That is fish of the day. Yeah. Oh, there's one. It is. What's the biggest coconut you've seen on this lake, Al? Uh, that you've caught, maybe, or grew in, in your group? Three, three, four, three and a half pounds. Wow, that's, that's nice. Have you heard of anybody big getting bigger ones? There's a picture at the store there, one six pounder. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Captioning is fueled by the Sport Fishing Institute of BC. These pull pretty good, eh? I wouldn't know. No. I'm gonna have to take your word for it right now, sniper. <laughs> They're starting to bite though. Yeah, they are. Well, I like I like the fact that Al snuck into your box, Brian, took the only one that one of only and he's catching fish on it. It's always <laughs> fair in the boat with Al. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. Look at this. Healthy. That's a very nice fish. Soft lows, eh? Yeah. yeah. Let them do their thing. I we've had a few times today. Oh, this one's the closest we've had though. You son of a... Man, they're just, you know, they just put a trout to shame, yeah. don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I thought that guy was done and he's going yeah. around three. Yeah. <clears throat> he's just shook his glare. There it is right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, That's a really nice fish. <laughs> Look that, that, look at that, oh, it out. Pokes, out. Out. Well, pokes out. That is a beautiful kokanee, Al. Absolutely. Look, at, look at the girth on him. <laughs> so, little guy. Would you do a throat sample on that guy, Brian? Yeah, I should twump him, eh? It looks like a lot of dap. Oh yeah, oh, but they are, they're on chronomet, though. Eh? Just let Brian look at it. Yeah, he figured out, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with it, too. Jeez, they we should eat that. Let him do the science thing, we'll just Static keep Static bag. Yeah. That's a good, healthy fish. Oh, you got that right. Super impressed with that. That size. Right on, let's see. Oh, well, that's a great fish. Right there? Yeah, ah, they're gorgeous. Well, there you go. I guess now we can catch a fish. That's the rule, right? Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. Today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about fly lines and how fly lines have evolved uh, especially for the fishery in British Columbia. Uh, in the past, fly lines um, used to be very generic. You would buy a floating line, you'd buy a sinking line, and those were your, you'd really have a whole lot of choices. Well, the science of fly lines has evolved to the fact that there's now a multitude of uh, fly lines with different uh, makeups and different textures for uh, very specific techniques, very um, uh, unique fisheries that we have, especially in British Columbia. Um, it goes from uh, a fly line that is triple textured, to uh, single textured, to our standard smooth lines, uh, sinking lines. There's now six different uh, densities of sinking lines that we make that are full sinking lines to allow you to really hone, in, hone your technique for the type of fish that you're trying to catch and also the presentation you're trying to achieve. 
all of these fly lines here all have a different budget for each each fisherman and uh, there's one that'll fit uh, from a weekend warrior to your guy that spends 30 40 days 50 days on the water every year when you go into a store and you're looking for a fly line and trying to decide what fly line is is appropriate for uh, the technique you're trying to do if you look on the back of the box on all fly line boxes it'll show you the the taper that you have It'll give you a list of features that are here, and it'll really help you decide that uh, which is the appropriate fly line for you. For more tips like this, check us out on next week's episode. might have to switch to the fly that there was none left of. That, we happen to find that you happen to have found one now, yeah. 20 of them in the box yeah. out there now. Yeah. Just gotta look in the right box. So, yeah. so DECA, we're on Little DECA. We are, yeah. We actually filmed our ice fishing episode here from season two, I think, eh, Brian? Okay. Was it season two we did that one up here? Yeah. So we fished not too far from here, actually. For the, oh, look at that popped <laughs> off right there. That's the way we roll. That's the way we roll. Exactly. Yeah, and we're targeting kokanee on the fly today, which is kind of a, it's kind of cool, very cool. Certain times of the year, they come in the shallows when the bugs are here and the food's here. And, yep. You know, we kind of seem to hit it pretty good today. So, so far, yeah. I mean, if I can just stick them. <laughs> Brian's missed about 12. We haven't even told him about the other 11. <laughs> We're getting there. Hail. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, but we're getting there. So found the found who, the secret fly all of a sudden. Who, whose fly are flies are we using? Well, Al picked it <laughs> out of your box. You didn't even know you had. <laughs> well, I only had one of those. Anyway, yeah, but deck little deck opens up into big deck, and then around here, there's a few other lakes that have this kokanee fishery as well that people can take part in. Right, Brian? Yeah, there's. Bridge is a very good lake. Very Bridge popular. Lake. Horse Lake. Horse Lake. Yeah. Sulfurous. Sulfurous. We can catch lake trout here too. We, we caught them. We got them here last week. We caught some fish nice. trout here. So nice. We need to we need to get one of those. We got to get the get the, the triple decker here. Yeah, we'll try to get the grands. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> on let's get back to bc outdoor sport fishing one o'clock in the latest two o'clock yeah what time you seven right what time you yeah you want to be home by oh, get yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah so you want to be home by seven yeah 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 <laughs> oh, this is fun watching you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Al and Brian show. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. We used to have some great kokanee fishing on stump many years ago. Yeah. I don't think they were this nice though. They're so well conditioned. Oh wow. Hold it. It is a rainbow. I'll be a son of a gun. I would have sworn that was a kokanee. And you thought it was a rainbow right away, didn't you? Just saying. <laughs> Al's a local a nice fishery rainbow. biologist here. That's a nice fish too. It is. I'll just... There, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah there's there's finally. And my rainbow. <laughs> I could have sworn I would have never said that was a rainbow. I'm going to fight my fish behind you guys here. It's like a Dickens wrapped himself. Thank you, Al. Well, there we go. First deck of lake, kokanee on the fly anyway. starting to sulk down there. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. All quiet to himself. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> quiet to himself, not saying much. I just start concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they when they want they it, they, it they? they grab it. There's no love tap. Oh. That's a good fish too. We're just holding out here, Al. 
big one. Yeah, I'm holding out for something. Yeah, usually doesn't usually doesn't happen. Crazy. He'll start crossing lines. They grab it like it's their last <laughs> dinner, last but supper. sometimes it yeah. is. <laughs> this one, this one, I'm thinking with you on the end of that rod, it probably was his last <laughs> supper. Oh, there we go. Oh, double. double. No. No. Gone. No, he's gone. I'm going to put it back oh, down, though. Al, this might get ugly. No, you're down, Al. You're down, no, Al. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shoot, that was a fish. I thought it was... You thought it was you? I thought it was me. They <laughs> just don't it's give up. They're hatch now, eh? Yeah, I know. They're really... I've it's noticed to get since going. we moved here, we've, they've been hitting us in the back. Yeah. All right. There you go. Well. You go. <laughs> oh, those things are ever wow. pretty. That's great. Was that on a fly out of my fly box? <laughs> yeah, right. just so we could be even. I yeah. need a new fly box. <laughs> I, I, are you going to take this one, Brian? Oh yeah, look at wow, look at the size of that wow. fish. Keep it in the net. That's well conditioned, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's well hooked, but it looks like a little sock guy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Look well, at the that green is head. Prime eating. Yeah, I noticed on yours, oh, the green head starting to come through. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. That's, yeah, take that yeah. out. Yeah. He found another one. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> she damn, you weren't supposed to tell my dad. Found, found Remember, there's only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this must be in the box that we get to see. Yeah, there's that's okay. I gotta give him a ride home. Yeah. <laughs> I might leave him in Little Fort when he goes to use the bathroom for the 14th time on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of neat. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Fish on. Let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Tackle and gear. Here is what we've been using on the water today. Hello, folks. We're going to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, the rods of choice this year are TFO rods. Uh, this series we're using uh, today are the BVK. 10 foot, 5 weights. Yep. Great, great, yeah, great action. Great indicator rod, yeah. long leaders. Perfect. And the, the reels today are large arbor lightweight reel from forged reels. Um, and the line today, we're using two different lines. We'll show you here is the, the Scientific Angler's Wavelength MPX, and we're also using the GPX tapers as yeah. well too. So uh, again, it, big long leaders, and indicators, your great, favorite fishing. Great for throwing indicators. <laughs> yeah. And this is where you kind of come in and you got to figure out what happens now, right? So Well, we, we had to, we're fishing. We were fishing deep today, yeah. up to 18, 20 feet below yeah. the indicator, so we had to lengthen out our nine-foot leaders and yeah. added some more of this uh, scientific angler's tip material, mm -hmm. 4X down to a swivel, yeah. and then from the swivel we went down 18 to 24 inches. Uh, we had to go through a lot of different chronomets to find out what the kokanee really wanted yeah, today. Right, yeah. uh, they had a preference for red-butted flies, yeah. so uh, you know, uh, brown and with red butt, black red butt, green with red butt, yeah. and then we got them on static bag uh, with red wire rib as well. Yeah. And uh, they were definitely on, dialed on chronomets today. It took us a while to find them, yeah. but once we did, Yep. And again, you know, we're fishing out of the Alumacraft Pro 175. Lots of room for the three of us to cast. And even yeah. with the wind picking up and blowing us around a little bit, there seemed to be lots of room, right? So yeah, it was great. Made it, made it easy. And then, of course, to and from the dock with a nice 70 horse Yamaha. Lots nice of power. <laughs> yeah, lots of power. Get the wind blowing in your face. Yeah. And then, you know, the, probably one of the funniest, the fun, funnest part of the trip sometimes is the drive up and the drive up from Kamloops when I picked you up. And the Toyota Tundra just does its job, right? Going up those hills, no problem. Uh, it's nice pulling the boat. Yeah, it's nice. All right, Folks, we're going to follow up with a quick list, so get your notepads out and we'll see it all in the water. Oh, I saw him swimming around. No, no, no I was just about to cast. I was about to lift yeah. the cast and he was there. Well, I saw the thing coming up. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you get him. No, I know. You gotta get him. I'd never tell. No, I know. Oh, nobody else is watching this. <laughs> That's right. No. <laughs> My mom watches this show, though. <laughs> you know what you got? What's that? Lake trout? Yep. Seriously? I think so. Nice. I, just, I saw some brown, He's too. Laker. 
<laughs> I did, yeah. I said I had going. It's definitely not a, it's a, it's a brown one. It's a brown one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit of a surprise. You yeah. guys are catching all those beautiful coconut, and I get a, my first ever lake trout. That's right. We were on the <laughs> drive up, I said, you said that, hey. I said that to Al, too. I said to you, I said, I want to see if I can get a lake trout. I said it to, to Al on the dock. I said, I was really hoping I can get a lake trout out here. It'd be kind of neat. I haven't caught one before, <laughs> but there you go. It up for you yeah, thanks. Hey, yeah. you made, made the wish. Yeah. Yeah, and a beautiful fish. That's not a bad fish either. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There, nice fish. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, those they, they catch them in the uh, the bigger part of deck up. Yeah, yeah. Up to 30 pounds. Holy Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one's like three. Yeah. We're up a decent fight. Not as good as a kokanee though. No. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at Yeah. That's, that's cool. Look at Chuck. Yeah. yeah. Look at the yeah. dragonfly. Yeah. Right here and there. Yeah. Those are me. Oh, that was him spitting those, those out. Yeah. He was spitting those out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, gentlemen, I can't top that now. I got two species. You got rainbow. You got, well, actually, I guess we're all got two yeah, species. Yeah, we all got two species, man. You got your first laker. That's right. I'm yeah. super excited, as you can tell. I'd like to get that rainbow. I would have had the grand slam. <laughs> we'll have to troll on the way back in, maybe. Yeah. Head in. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, thanks, guys, for joining us on the show. It's been, been great. I mean, this is, it's such a underutilized fishery like there's nobody here we saw two trollers go by us today and that was really it and then yeah. friends oh, of mine yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so, awesome yeah, but uh, yeah. thanks brian again thanks for joining us on the show again always a pleasure mike thanks for out fishing always a pleasure and thanks for not netting any of my fish i think you did all the netting thank you it's always, it's thanks all, bud it's always fun when you're the guy in the middle i didn't net one i didn't even net one of his fish today i'm the guy in the middle of his now i'm all excited i'm just great now nobody's gonna call me net your net boy now congratulations thanks. they'll be walking around the trade shows hey aren't you that net guy that's awesome and thanks for sharing one or two of your flies with al Eventually. You went and got them. Yeah. That's why Brian was netting my fish. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So. Anyway, awesome. Thanks for joining us, Al. No problem. Lots of fun. Thanks for showing us a beautiful lake and surroundings and awesome, man. This is, you're lucky. You are lucky. Coconut on the fly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun. And thank you folks for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is made possible by your Toyota BC dealers. Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, the Pacific Salmon Foundation, Port Boathouse, North River Boats, Low Rats, along with 